With everything going on in the world right now, it's hard to care about anything, let alone my YouTube channel, let alone expect other people to care about my YouTube channel. Being locked in our homes like rats, now riots in the streets, all of these planned events. The world is never going to be back to normal, yet everyone else, especially on YouTube, is pretending like nothing's happening. I just can't talk about anything though. I try to talk about current events, fitness stuff, whether it's, you know, the riots or John Meadows, my videos are heavily suppressed. I never get in the algorithm. The harder I work, the less views I'm getting. I really don't know what to do anymore. You know, I've spent over $12,000 this past year on just Google ads, let alone another $10,000 on separate marketing companies, Instagram and Twitter, probably more than that. I think I've spent anywhere between thirty and forty thousand dollars and this is all of my YouTube revenue in addition to money I've made from my nine to five day job I've had for the past two years I've killed myself every single day all at the hope I would grow larger and larger and influence more people to improve their health find one other person with the channel my size that has spent as much money as me I could literally go on the street and pay people and have more subscribers than I do now for the amount of money I spent. Hey guys, so it's 4.15 in the morning and I'm editing my video. I was actually really exhausted and tired yesterday, so you know I wanted to lay down for a few hours, but I still had to wake up and edit this for you guys. You know, With that being said, with me being so tired, my brain being exhausted, I forgot to mention the actual reason I started spending money on YouTube. And I know some of you guys are thinking, Frank, how'd you spend? that much money on advertising that's crazy yeah i know it's crazy i spent enough money to buy a mercedes and i'm still driving a shit box of a car i know i spent a crazy amount of money on youtube advertising but here's the problem as soon as i started doing you know anti-vegan videos talking about the vegan agenda how it ties into the new world stuff they just suppressed my channel so hard that if I didn't spend money on advertising, if I didn't spend the amount of money that Google AdSense paid me, my videos would get a few hundred views per day. It was ridiculous. They literally instantly demonetized any of my videos, shut down any of my videos as soon as I stopped spending the advertising money. So it's kind of like YouTube is holding me hostage for $100 a day to just be on the platform. And even though I'm spending the money now, they're still censoring me. You know, before it was like, okay, you can talk about these vegan topics if you pay us. But now, even when I'm paying them, they're still, you know, picking and choosing what I can and can't talk about. So that's just a brief explanation to why I'm spending this money. And guys, of course, I don't want to spend this money on advertising. Of course, I don't want to. But, you know, all of these other channels aren't getting censored and they are in the algorithm because they're playing by the rules. Uh, so that's an unfortunate part, an unfortunate consequence. And that's why you guys will see a lot of these other, you know, truth channels will have much higher revenue streams from other support. And I don't really have that. You know, I just have a couple of businesses that are kind of barely scraping by and I still work a nine to five day job. Um, you know, I don't have, you know, thousands and thousands of people supporting me on Patreon or other platforms like these other people do. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that explanation in there. Like, guys, no, I'm not stupid. I don't want to spend this money on advertising. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I've never really asked for help or people's money before, but the other day I did. You know, I kind of had a knee-jerk reaction when Frankie's Strange Meat was broken into. You know, my business partner's car got smashed up. And I really don't want to accept people's money as donations, you know, without providing something. But the world is literally ending, and I'm hoping I can get enough money to provide you guys with high-quality animal foods before the world ends, get something set up before we're in the midst of an apocalypse. Now, all of these fitness channels, diet channels, other health people on YouTube are just acting as if everything is normal, not addressing the truth, playing along with everything. You know, as you guys can tell by the videos I've done over the past few months, I seem to be the only person on here with any integrity, but I've suffered for it. But, but, but how can you not have integrity when you can't even 
go to the store and buy those health foods when you can't even go to the gym and do those fitness workouts how can you pretend like everything's okay you know all that being said I've been at a crossroads for a while now whether or not to continue making educational nutrition videos I really wanted to start diving into fitness stuff but I can't and it doesn't look like I'm ever going to be able to dive into fitness stuff because all the gyms are closed. Bodybuilding is like the opposite of what, you know, you want to be doing right now. And, you know, despite wanting to not do educational videos anymore, I've done them consistently as long as my channel's been going. You know, you guys can see, you know, a few videos that I've done every month on specific health topics. And these past few weeks, I might not have had as many whiteboard videos, but you know, a couple videos per week are still focused on diet, nutrition, and health. And guys, I truly have been working harder than ever. As I've said, I'm killing myself every day. I am practically miserable every single day for almost four years doing these YouTube videos consistently, hoping it's all gonna pay off. You know, now my views, my live stream attendance, everything is going down. The more time, effort, knowledge, money, the more money I put into my channel, you know, it seems to be going nowhere. And we all know why that is. I figured the consistency and effort would pay off, but YouTube had a say in that. They don't like that I've made my own little sandbox as opposed to playing in theirs. You know, and that's not how the world works. You know, if you're not in the club, YouTube is going to let you know that 15 year old vegan girl who gets 300,000 subs in a year from making two nonsense videos a week is just the tip of the iceberg in this nonsense. I feel like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall while everyone else gets to walk around it. Thing is, when I do make these educational videos, other YouTube channels coincidentally seem to make videos on the same subjects with near identical information within days or weeks of my video. You know, there have been a plethora of shills in my comment section saying that you don't own information and that everyone copies other people, attempting to justify the using of my research. I've had enough of it. I've had enough of doing the legwork for these clowns that only care about making a quick buck. These grifters that have jumped on the Frank Tofano bandwagon that want a piece of the pie. I hate to break it to you, but none of you earned it. They don't have half a brain because their lack of health knowledge is poisoning their minds and their bodies, rendering them unable to do the research I do or comprehend it. I don't know. Maybe they're just lazy. I don't see the need to bring up these people and point out the obvious influence I have in their videos. You know, do I continue to make educational health videos that have a level of understanding no one else is conveying on YouTube? You know, despite the plagiarism, despite the censorship, despite other people twisting my words and ideas to sell their garbage products, is it worth helping a few hundred, a few thousand people when hundreds of thousands, if not millions of others, are being misled partially thanks to my understanding of health? The silly part is, they just have to mention my name. You know, oh hey, some of this information was from Frank Tofano. Definitely check out his channel for some good health information. Nope. They just rip off half the information in my videos and pretend I don't exist. You know, the few times I do use other people's work, like uh, Paul Check or uh, what's the guy with iodine, uh, Dr. Brownstein, I always mention them. I always give people credit. At this point, I'm certain these people are copying my videos and plagiarizing me just to piss me off and hope I say something because they're making it so blatantly obvious and they know that no one else is going to speak up and defend me because I'm the only person that isn't bought and paid for. I own my own companies, I do my own thing, I can say whatever the hell I want and I've actually been pretty nice about it. So not only am I making informative videos that these people are incapable of or unwilling to do, they refuse to address the truth about anything. Out of all these YouTube clowns, I'm the only person who has spoken up about current events. If these people don't care that children are literally getting killed with radiation poisoning, why the hell am I going to give them any information they can use to make a few extra bucks to pad their mediocre living? They will not tell you any health information unless it makes them money. I made YouTube videos 
for three years revealing health information that no one else was talking about without making a cent. And now that I've started my own companies, that I've started my own businesses, that I've created something for myself, everyone wants a piece of the pie and they're not half as good at it as I am. They don't truly care about health and the reason I'm successful is because I don't care about money. You guys see, I'm either staying at my parents' house or my grandmother's house. I drive a 2001 Ford Taurus. I sell meat for cheaper than anyone else online. I give away more free stuff, thousands of thousands of dollars on all my company. I don't have to say it, guys. I don't have to say it. I don't know why I have to say it, because I'm leading by example. You know, on top of that, my whiteboard nutrition videos, these videos I'm doing, they don't even get as many views as everything else. You know, sometimes I feel like the only thing my nutrition videos are being used for is so that people can plagiarize me and that the people in my comments encouraging me to go back to nutrition are the ones copying me. So I've been trying to do things I feel like doing and I want to do as opposed to purely things that I think would benefit other people, but that is still something that's in my mind. I really do enjoy sharing my understanding of nutrition with people, so I will continue doing that. However, I really don't want to gate information with a paywall, but what I will do is like when I make my vitamin C video later this week, I'm going to set up like a $20 per month subscription on Patreon where you can see how I actually apply that stuff in my day to day life. So I'll make a video explaining what you need to know about vitamin C, you know, how much you should take, what supplements you take, and then that same day, you know, post a video of like me in my kitchen taking my vitamin C powder sharing a couple secrets with you guys, what I do. So you'll be able to support me with an additional income that I can then use uh, to put towards advertising for my YouTube channel or towards my farm. You know, if I'm going to give away this information that other people are taking, I, I need something else to give me an edge over them, whether that's an additional income that can be used on advertising revenue or at least helping other people and providing people with quality nutrition. Uh, so I'm gonna put a link to my Patreon in the description below. I know you know a lot of you guys have been supporting me on Patreon for quite a while now, but uh, we're gonna start consistently posting there probably two or three videos per week on Patreon, two of them being pertinent to the educational videos that I'm doing on my YouTube channel. And I don't really want to, but we might have to take a shift away from the current event stuff because every other video I publish is just instantly suppressed, instantly shadowed, and I, I can't do anything about it. Uh, maybe if I start making videos on certain health topics and more mainstream stuff that's not relevant to the events right now, um, that I'll start getting more views again, but we'll see. Uh, it's, it's really tough. If I tell the truth, they just shut me down. If I don't tell the truth, it's like um, other people use and steal my information. So I really don't know if anyone's been through as much adversity on YouTube but um, it just never seems to end. Never seems to end. Never seems to end. Uh, but I, I, I didn't thank you guys that have been supporting me this whole time. Of course, you know I, I, I really don't like complaining and, and bringing this stuff up. But you know I feel like I, I owe you guys an explanation for what I'm doing, and you know j just to give you guys, you know my thoughts, so you know what's going on in my head, and how I plan on hypothetically becoming as successful as I deserve to be. Uh, so, as I said, I'm going to link the Patreon down below. Uh, we'll do the vitamin C video later this week, and uh, you guys can give me some feedback on how it is.